What's inside this gummy bear pencil case? Not pencils. Gummy bears inside a gummy bear pencil case. So many gummy bears. What am I gonna do with all these gummy bears? Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a duct tape pencil case. After watching our first duct tape tutorial video, how to make a duct tape wallet, I got a lot of requests for more duct tape videos. So today, since I figured a lot of you guys are going back to school and you're going out there buying your own school supplies, I figured why not do a DIY tutorial project to show you guys how to make your own duct tape pencil case. It's usable, you'll be able to customize it with your own uh, fun tape, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include duct tape. You can also get fun pattern duct tape. I got these at Michael's, a gummy bear, and the macaroni and cheese. A ruler, some scissors, clear packaging tape, and a big Ziploc bag. First, separate the Ziploc part from your bag. Set the bag portion aside, you're gonna actually use this for later. Take your ruler, and trim your Ziploc part to about nine inches. You want to trim a little bit off of one side and then measure it out so that you are at nine inches. Next, you're going to take your duct tape. Today, I'm using the fun macaroni duct tape that I got from Michaels. You want to have about four pieces of duct tape that are about nine inches long. For this project, even though we're using fun duct tape for the outside, we're gonna use a solid color for the inside. Go ahead and take your solid color duct tape or any other duct tape that you wanna use for your inside and make four pieces that are a little over nine inches long. Next, you're gonna take your Ziploc and you're gonna separate it and apply your first piece of duct tape. Take your first piece of duct tape and this will be the outside pieces. It's first, apply it toward the inside of the Ziploc bag. You want to have it so that it is just right above where the Ziploc actually starts. Take the duct tape and you're going to fold it over the actual outside part of your bag. You want to have it so that it's just a little over your plastic bag. Fold it and then press it down to make sure it's sealed. Flip the tape over and back on your Ziploc side. You're gonna take one of the inside pieces and you're gonna apply it just right under where the Ziploc starts. Press it down so that your Ziploc is still exposed. Next, you're gonna apply tape on the outside of your pencil case. Take your fun macaroni duct tape and apply it right over the sticky part of your inside tape and still overlap it over your outside tape. Press it down to make sure it's secure. You want to do the same thing to the other side and just alternate between the two. Continue to alternate until you've used all four pieces on both sides of your pencil case. For your last piece, what you want to do is you want to align the inside and the outside pieces together so that there's no sticky part that's exposed. Apply it and press down. If a little bit of the sticky side is exposed, don't worry too much because you can just go ahead and trim that off. If you plan to make a duct tape pencil case that doesn't have any open windows, go ahead and do the same thing with your other part of the Ziploc bag. If not, follow the next steps to create your window. To make the other side of your pencil case that has a window, you're gonna need the other side of your Ziploc bag, two pieces of your outside tape, one piece of your inside tape, and then a few pieces of clear packaging tape. Take your duct tape, put it on the inside of your Ziploc bag, 
fold it down, flip it over, and then press it down again. Take your inside tape and apply it right under the inside of your Ziploc bag. Take your bag, and on the outside piece, what you're gonna do is take a rectangular piece of plastic that you made from your plastic bag, and you're gonna apply it right on top of the tape. After securing the plastic bag over the tape, you're gonna take a piece of your outside tape and apply it right on top of that bag. You wanna make sure that it is right above the inside piece and still overlapping your outside piece, just so that you have this cool, clear line between the two. To create the rest of your window and to reinforce this plastic bag, you're gonna take some clear packaging tape and you're gonna apply it right over that bag. The reason I decided not to cut this earlier and lay it aside is because with packaging tape, it's a little harder to handle. Place it right over your bag and gently put it over slowly so that no air bubbles get trapped inside of your window. Cut it off. And you want to make at least two pieces of tape over your window. If there are a few bubbles trapped in your tape, go ahead and just try to push it out and pop them through to the side. Next, you're going to take the first half of your pencil case and you're going to attach it to the second half. Put them together and then zip them. Make sure they are aligned. Take your ruler, find the edge of your ziplock, and you're going to make a straight line from the top to the bottom so that you know where to cut your duct tape. Trim the edges of your pencil case and also trim the bottom with the excess uh, clear part of your window. After trimming the sides and the bottom of your pencil case, go ahead and take another piece of your outside tape. Fold it in half to get an idea of where the half line is and place it on the bottom part of your pencil case. Place, put it down on one side, flip it over, and you're gonna flip it onto the other side as well. Trim the edges of the bottom. And then go ahead and open up your pencil case. Take a piece of your inside tape and go ahead and seal the bottom with your inside tape right over where you put your outside tape. Fold up your pencil case, zip it up at the top, and go ahead and trim the sides like you did before. Take two pieces of your outside tape that are the size of the side of your bag and go ahead and create a seal for that as well. Fold it in half, place it a little over where the edge is, tape it down, and close both sides of your tape. In this step, what you want to do is trim a little bit of the side of the tape so that you can fold it into your bag. Take that piece, fold it in, do the same to the top, make sure it doesn't go over the actual zip part of your Ziploc bag. and seal it. Go ahead and do that to both sides. Once you've sealed both sides of your pencil case, you now have a functional pencil case. Um, go ahead and fill it up with your pencils, your pens, your erasers, and if you're like me, you can go ahead and also put in your gummy bear snacks. Close it up and that's your pencil case. Um, thanks again for watching Get Crafty Crafty. 
Make sure to check out our social mediums that are gonna be right here every week. Um, if you're on Twitter or Instagram and you do these projects, make sure you uh, let me know. Use the hashtag GetCraftyCrafty Crafty and share your projects. I always love seeing the projects that everyone does. Um, I'm always happy when the projects turn out really well for everyone. Uh, make sure to check out our past two videos, the water bottle video and our moon sand video. Um, also, check out our last update video for your chance to enter our current uh, giveaway. The last day to enter this giveaway to win one of our dragon eggs is August 28th, 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I'm gonna choose a winner on Friday, make that video, and then announce the winner during our Comic-Con recap video on Saturday. So make sure you go ahead and enter that. Um, thanks again for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Um, come back next time to see what fun projects we're gonna make, and have a great start to your school year. Um, I hope everyone has a great school year, no matter whether you're in elementary, middle, high school, or college. Uh, enjoy and have fun. Thanks. Bye.